There's a lot of uh, uncertainty and a lot of fear in a lot of people. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with, with the economy. I mean, in our, in our lifetimes, we've never seen anything like this. And I think what's really important for people to do is, um, is to not let fear guide their actions, uh, to, to just stay focused on what it is that's important, and that's taking care of the customers, whatever customers they have left. And one thing that's critical is uh, creative thinking, thinking outside of the box. How, uh, how do I do things differently now? What, are, what new challenges are going to be in the marketplace that I can solve and bring value to people? Those are, uh, those are really important things to think about right now. Our operation is really kind of maintained the way it was before this because we were completely virtual. Other than that, we're, we operate like we've always operated and now is the time for people, uh, anybody who's gone through this and realized the importance of, of having their documentation together and knowing where they stand. Now, now is the time when you really need good information like that to make financial decisions and I think a lot of uh, a lot of our clients are realizing that and they've appreciated that they've been able to make those decisions. And for those that, that haven't um, been in that situation, now's the time to reevaluate where you are and, and to look at where you go from here. Different strategies are there for different people. There are some clients that we deal with that are uh, financially strapped and they were living on that, that thin edge when this started and they're hurt badly. So I think one of the big takeaways from this is now is the time to, to plan and to think about how, how, can we, um, how can we be better in the future? How can, the, how can we prepare ourselves so this doesn't happen again? This, uh, this coronavirus has brought about a whole new um, set of challenges as it relates to human resource management and in all of the different scenarios where people are impacted by this or working or not working and uh, what what should you say what should you not say who do you pay who do you not pay and all of the things surrounding the the ffcra or the uh, families first coronavirus response act so um, yeah there's a lot of complexity out there right now and some people are all all over it and most of them are are just kind of um, most of them are looking for help. They're looking for somebody to help guide them through that.